So what really drew me um, to Airlace, and we'll kind of get into the details about the actual device, but you know, we all know that the millennial market is huge. And you know, the millennial market is the most ethnically diverse population, and I see it very frequently down here in Miami, obviously treating multiple skin types, and most commonly, I treat a lot of a Latin American um, patients who tend to have a darker type 3, type 4, type 5 skin type. And so, you know, I started thinking about how can I reach these patients that make up more than 30% of our population? The millennial market, why are they important? Um, we know that education specifically is driving skin health, and we know that millennials want education. When you stop and think, you know, when I see patients wide variety of ages, I stop and think, what makes the millennials unique? How do I have to approach that patient differently than I might approach an older patient? And, you know, really it comes down to them being a little bit more um, skeptical in a way, but also a little bit more educated in terms of different devices that are on the market. They have social media to look at, to, to ask questions. And they come in and say, what is this device? What's that device? They start researching the names. And they're obviously very cosmetically inclined. I mean, this again goes back to kind of pop culture and social media. And we know that this population specifically, they become very loyal. I will say that the young population that I have, the millennials that I have, when they come in and they're happy with the treatment and they feel comfortable and you essentially build a bond with them, they will come back again and again and again. So this is really a population that I feel very strongly about targeting. So what are their needs? What are they looking for? We all know that millennials, and I think this is a perfect picture, they like to do 10 things at once. They're checking their phone, they're thinking about what they're gonna do tomorrow, what they're gonna wear tonight, they're answering an email, um, they're constantly multitasking. So they wanna get in and get out. They wanna come in and do a very quick procedure, get the results and be on their way. The other thing that we know that millennials look for is they want the latest and greatest. We hear the term all the time on social media, all the time, you know, on the TV is they want what is a new best thing out there. And they want to have, make sure that they have the best technology on the market. And they want to keep up with their peers. Point blank, oh, my friend did this. I want this. And we know that if you make one, you know, patient or customer happy, it's going to attract 10, 20, 30 more. They also want something that has no downtime. Millennials have an event later in the evening. They have to wake up because they have X, Y, and Z. And so they want to come in, have their treatment, look great, and go on with the rest of their day. The other thing I think that's important is that they absolutely want to keep their into skin health, keep their young, their skin young and healthy. You know, we used to think about treating skin to make it look great and just make it look aesthetically pleasing, but now I think we're targeting skin health. What makes your skin healthier? Look at commercials, look at social media. Skin health is a common hashtag, skin health is a common phrase, and skin health is a common topic of conversation. So I think, you know, we need to address all these things with millennials while we keep the discomfort down. So how do we market to millennials? Social media. I mean, that's obvious, obvious to all of us. Social media is huge. Um, I tend to do a lot more on Instagram, but, you know, I absolutely think trying to broaden your horizons is key. Um, this allows you to engage with your customers. It's actually a really good chance to build a bond before even seeing the patient. Um, I obviously have a public, you know, Instagram account. I like to post, and I allow patients to message me through Instagram. You know, if I can answer it in a quick response, I answer the question. Otherwise, they say, please call the office. I'm happy to discuss with you during a consultation. But it's a good way for patients to feel connected. And millennials want that connection. They want to feel that they know you almost by your first name. Um, they really want to feel that they connect with you, and then they're going to trust you and believe what you say. The other thing that's important with um, Instagram or other social media is really it stimulates new ideas for the future visit. So you treat a patient, you know, with the air lace laser, you post it on Instagram, a patient that you may have treated three, four, six months ago that you haven't seen since you had that device might say, hey, you know, I noticed this new device, tell me about it. What does it do? Can you explain it? What, what kind of results can I get? And then commonly, then they say, okay, this sounds great, sign me up. So it really sparks conversation. It lets them know what you have. Many people are getting away from reading about every, you know, single treatment that you offer on your website and really are using social media because they're visual. That's another thing to keep in mind with millennials specifically, they're visual. They like to see what the treatment looks like. They like to see what the results are going to be. So really having that visuality, I think, is really important. And the other thing that's important to keep in mind with millennials is they, they want to be educated. So that's where that whole Instagram or, or social media comes up, YouTube, where you can explain 
explain the procedure. You can explain what to expect prior to or post procedure. And you can really give them the guidance so when they walk in the room, it also saves you time. You don't have to go all through that. They know what to expect. And then you can sit them down and say, here we go, and start the treatment. So be authentic. Um, I think this is important. I, you know, there's some pictures here um, that I put just so you can get an idea of what I do for my Instagram. But I think it's important to, number one, mix it up. Let them know who you are as a normal individual. So show them the treatments you do in the office, but show them, you know, some things that you do outside the office. Get them excited. You know, here I posted coming soon. I got, you know, my patients excited about the new office that I'm opening. But you want them to feel, again, connected. I think connection, connection, connection is key. And you want to show that personal side because, number one, it's going to show that you're confident as a practitioner and as a provider. It's going to show that you're a normal human being. And I will tell you that, one comment I get often from patients is, oh, you're just like me. You're just like us. Oh, you're normal. I'm so used to walking into an office and talking to a doctor and feeling like, you know, a little bit intimidated or, you know, not really sure how to interact. The more natural you are, the more you connect, the more comfortable they're going to feel, the more treatments they're going to want to do, the more they're going to want to come back just to tell you about their day. And, you know, I also commonly get patients that just like to come in. They say, I just like to come in. I'm coming in for this one thing, but they want to come in every other week and just, you know, to see me and the staff and, and to feel involved. So the more you show yourself on Instagram or other social media, and I keep saying Instagram just because I, I tend to be heavily in Instagram, you know, the more you use that, the more you can connect with these patients and then they can feel that they really know you and understand you and trust you. You also want to educate about your art. So, you know, throw in a few about your family, about things you like to do outside the office, but then focus on your treatments. You know, explain it. So you can see in this particular image that I'm doing the treatment, then I explain what is this technology? What does it do? What is the downtime? Um, who can it be used on? What areas? What are the results they can expect? You know, you're not going to be able to answer, obviously, every question about it. But again, going back to saving you time in the office, they already have some knowledge about it. Um, but also, it gives them an idea of whether or not they're going to be a candidate. And, you know, I love nothing more than putting air lace, no downtime, how fast the procedure, 15, you know, 20 minutes for the light pod neo. So it's really nice to be able to also kind of highlight that so that catches the eye of, oh, this is quick, easy, something I can do on my lunch break. Maybe it's something I should come in and ask more questions about. Um, the other thing that this teaches them is to know that you are a good provider for this, meaning they see that you're doing the treatment on patients, that you know about the treatment, that you're confident about the treatment. So the more you teach, the more knowledge you can show that you have. And the more knowledge you can show you have, the more they're going to trust you because they want an educated provider, not somebody who just bought a device and wants to use it because, quote, unquote, they like it because they heard that so-and-so had or so-and-so used it. They know that you're educated on that device. You know how to use it appropriately, and you know how to give them the best results. You obviously want to make your patients happy, and if they're happy, then they're going to spread the word. But, you know, you can't just rely on verbal spreading the word. You want to make sure that reviews are there. And I actually, this is perfect timing because I had a patient today who came in who actually is in from out of town here for Basel, and just said, you know, I decided I wanted to do some laser hair removal. And, you know, I said, oh, okay, so how did you find, how did you find me? Oh, I went on Yelp and I just started looking up dermatologists in the area and you had great reviews on Yelp. And then, oh, I happened to look and see, do you actually have a device that can be used for that? So I decided to come in and see you. So, you know, having those reviews sparks trust, sparks, um, you know, um, knowledge, and it really gets your patients to feel comfortable right off the bat, because especially when you have patients that really believe in you, they are going to take the time, as you can see here, to not write a one-liner, but to actually put, you know, their positive experience there to really build an image for you. And you can use patients to help you build a positive image. So ask your patients to do that. Um, the way I also do it is I actually send out emails. I set up, you know, uh, I'm working with a company who does SEO, and I set up an account where after each patient is seen in the office, you know, my, one of my associates sends out an email that says, would you like to provide a review on Yelp or Google, et cetera, and then they can choose to do that. So, you know, send that out and you might get, I mean, I get one probably, I've had maybe three or four in the last, you know, few weeks, so it's not a ton, but it's enough that it gets you out there, it gets the numbers up, and so just don't be shy and find kind of like, uh, you know, ways to do it if you don't feel comfortable doing it find ways to do it either through email or through an associate or, you know, a staff member that can say, hey, by the way, if you're really happy, 
you know, we would love for you to do this. So you don't feel uncomfortable. There are many ways you can do it, but just do it. And be your own influencer, right? Share your experiences. I actually love sharing my experiences. I'm not shy about it. Um, I, I like to show the results and I like to show something I'm passionate about. As you can see, even the way that I'm talking about this device, I'm so passionate. I like to share that. So if you get out there and you show the patients, look, this is what I did. These are my results. They are going to eat it up. They're going to love it. And, you know, as we would with our providers, if I see that, you know, somebody I trust did X procedure and they're so happy that they're showing me their results, I'm going to want to do it because I'm going to trust, hey, they did it to themselves. They're happy with the results. I'm going to do it. So I would say that's very, very, very powerful. And it's another thing that I absolutely recommend you do because I have so many patients that bring that up. Oh, I see you did this. Your skin looks great. So it's another way to open the conversation and to also have the patients trust what you're recommending because you did it. Some of my uh, old PAs, I must say, I just have to give actually a shout out on that because I, I love my, my staff and they know that I'm a huge proponent. When I'm happy and excited about something, I'm like, here, take pictures, post this, help me do that. So, and they, they can also attest to that. I think it's just so, so, so important. And I make them do it too. I'm like, hey, do you mind? You know, if they're happy with the procedure, let's post it. Um, you know, because patients see them in the office. So that's something else to think about. Have your staff get involved. You know, if they're confident in it and they feel, you know, really proud about the results, have them help post it to their friends. It also brings in new views to your website and, and to what you can offer in the office. So not only yourself, but staff. So marketing to millennials, here are the key takeaways. Obviously, you want to be authentic. That's number one. Millennials are the first ones to see through crap, if you will. They really want to be authentic. They want to see somebody who they feel they can connect with. And they want to see somebody who is educated that can educate them. They are very, very loyal. Um, and, you know, I would say the end of the day, once you get them and you keep them and they're happy, they are the ones that are going to tell all of their friends. They are not shy about procedures they do. They're at the forefront of the procedures that are out there. They don't mind sharing it on social media. So really targeting, you know, millennials to believe in you and believe in your products and your treatments, I think, is huge. Um, some things to think about are setting up referral or VIP client programs. Um, you know, that's something I'm in the midst of doing at this point, you know, to be upfront. I have not done that. I'm a new practice since August, but it's something that I know I have fellow friends um, that have done it and have had great success with that. Um, establishing loyalty programs. And, you know, most importantly, and this is what I strive for on a daily basis, is connect on commonalities. I, I'm sure most of us are taught this during, you know, our training, but when you ask a patient, oh, where are you from, in casual conversation, oh, you know, I'm visiting from, you know, Boston, oh, I went to medical school there, oh, so what are you doing later today, are you going to go out to dinner, what are your plans, oh, I'm going, oh, I love that restaurant. You know, so really finding commonality to connect with the patients. It sparks that trust again. It starts conversation, which, you know, obviously we kind of want to cut the ice anyway. So it, it just loosens things up and allows you to connect with your patient. So find a question. Just ask two, three, four, five questions, and I can promise you you're going to find some commonality that's going to really connect you guys.